He said, you look pretty rough right now. No offense. <laughs> Here, does this help? No, I can still see your face. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the venom mask. Probably better. Hey guys, Kuro Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we are back with Star Wars Rebels, gentlemen, last season on Star Wars oh, Rebels. Season? Yeah. What Lothal. happened? Lothal. Lothal. Rebellion. That is the planet. Traitorous. We were so close to an Travis. Anakin, Ahsoka reunion. It was gonna be so sweet. That close. Yes. Beautiful. It would be sweet, right? They'd be yeah. hugging each other. Yeah. I missed you. Oh, How I'm you been? Sorry. Over tea. <laughs> the cafe. The Coruscant Cafe. Fulcrum was uh, revealed to us as being the great Ahsoka Tano. Hail or uh, Who is helping to uh, organize certain rebel cells? There are other rebel cells out there, not just ours. Or Which our cell all. learned of cells. Yep. We're a cell? You think dead cells Did you know? Built? I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, we're excited to start this new season. Um, yes, which, and it's a first episode it of the season. It is a first episode. Aaron, what does that mean? It means we're starting a new season. That's right. And you can... <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> uh, it means that starting a new season, you guys can join in with some of our full-length Raw Rider tier stuff yep. down in the description below. Um, we have various tiers over at patreon.com slash blindwave. One of those includes our full lengths for all of our reaction series. So check out this one down in the description. Watch along with us with your own reference footage because it can't. we got to cut stuff up. That's, that's and you know right. what? It's really easy because we're watched on Disney+. Plus. You can watch on Disney+. Plus. It's real easy. Begging for the freighter. Keep the ties off our back. Split formation, Phoenix 2. We'll cut across their axis. Ah. <coughs> and spawn camping. Some bitches. I wouldn't mind getting my feet back on solid ground for a while. Come on, Zeb. Where's your sense of adventure? Oh, God. At least there was a railing, I guess. Yes! Heck yeah! Why did you yell that? I don't know. I liked yelling that. for pickup. Did you see Chopper? <laughs> I hope it faded in the stereo. Oh, oh God! Imperial reinforcements have arrived. I need a little help. They're all over me. Oh, those Chopper classic shots. I can't see him. Blockade runner, no. I want to play squadrons. We must withdraw. Acknowledged, Commander Sato, but first we're getting what we came for. Almost in rage. How does that work? Um, anytime, Zeb. Come on. Come on. Yep, alright. It's like an Among Us game. Gotcha. Goes to Phoenix. Magnetize. Let's get out of here. That team was perfect. Uh, Spectre 5, bring it in. Whee! Everyone else bounced. <laughs> five by one. I don't know what that means, 5x1. In Aliens, it was 5x5, five five, right? Starcraft as well. Hmm. I honestly don't know what else to do. Perhaps that is the problem. <laughs> minister, when it comes to producing results. His voice just gives me chills. With all due respect, you and Governor Tarkin are asking for miracles. We will squeeze Lothal until someone reveals the whereabouts of these traitors. I'm sorry, my lord. I am merely a public official. I have no experience with such brutal tactics. You can explain that to Governor Tarkin. When you visit him, he expects you tomorrow to account for your failure. Remember the last time? I, I need to go. possibly get away. It's weird to think it's Annika under there. To what? Um, Sister, Lord Vader and I will manage in your absence. <laughs> Lord Vader. Ah, James Earl Jones just brings so much, I don't know. Driving a toss? Yeah. Hey, it's old Joe. I can't see you, but I can hear you, my friends. Time is short, but there's someone here 
desperate to speak with you. Oh. Mr. Tua. Oh, I can't trust her. She's an Imperial. Please, I beg you, listen to my request. In transmission now, Chop. Wait. Minister, what do you want? My life is in danger. I need you to give me safe passage off Lothal. She's telling the truth. <clears throat> I, I can sense her fear. Yeah, but of what? <laughs> <laughs> so what have you got to trade? A list of rebel sympathizers on Lothal and other nearby systems. Uh, we shouldn't even consider this. It's obviously a trap. There's something else. I've discovered the true reason the Empire came to Lothal. Known only to a few, and ordered by the Emperor himself. Could be Death Star. <clears throat> we got Death Star. <clears throat> I believe it could be worth the risk. Minister, we'll get you out. Send us your coordinates. Thank you. What's with you? Do you have any idea how inappropriate that was? Actually, no, I don't. Excuse me. You can't just tell Chopper to project a hologram in a secret debriefing without authorization. Authorization? Procedure? That's what's bothering me. All right. Talk to me. Fighting alongside soldiers isn't what I signed up for. That's how the dead I fell. <clears throat> These soldiers help save your life. And I'm grateful. But that doesn't mean I want to join their little army. When you and I started together, it was robbed from the Empire, give to the needy, a noble cause. And now we're getting drawn into some kind of military thing. I survived one war. I'm not ready for another one. I saw what it did. To the Jedi. To everyone. <clears throat> the beginning of that scene feels a lot like Han and Han Leia, Leia yeah. going through Hoth. You could use a good kiss! I'm not a committee! I didn't think I'd miss it, but I... What is it? Do you feel that? I, I feel Dark so presence. <laughs> not even on the planet yet. So, so, Soka's not on that ship, right? I don't believe she so. She stayed with, um... Sato. Sato. This is just our crew. <clears throat> Familiar. <laughs> you look familiar. That's it's what working. I do in him, man. <laughs> I know you. Yeah. Man, you must have Pendragon blood. Change quick, real quick. Ahead. I don't believe it. Thank you, Agent Callus, but there, there was no need for an escort. Lord Vader asked me to make sure you reach your shuttle safely. Safely. I see. We can't be too careful about security these days. And it's not take cover! Surprise! What's <laughs> <laughs> well, that? You did this! Right there! <laughs> I giggle. Why is he smiling? It's all part of the plan! No! We're ready for that. Hold on! Those guys barely survived. Yeah, they only got crushed. Mission didn't go well. Now they're trapped. Look at that shot. It's like Batman, anime series opening. With the blimps? <laughs> yeah. Everything yeah. has happened as you predicted, Lord Vader. Now inform the province. The rebel assassins hide in their midst. You still go back to that same space? It's a good spot. It hasn't yeah. been found yet. Was well guarded. 
Open up in there. Open up in there. We're in trouble. Why are they doing that? Hope. They're so jazzed up. Right, come on! Came in shooting. <laughs> hey. Ha. <laughs> Good disguise. Hold it right there, cadet. We have to check inside. I got this. No, you don't have to check inside. Did you just try to give me an order, cadet? No, he just said, you don't have to check inside. I don't have to check inside. <laughs> well, then, Never stop teaching. Cadet, let's move. Hurry up. <laughs> I wish that worked for me. I wish it worked on you. <laughs> <laughs> Shield generators. Military grade. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's like Rogue One again. <clears throat> Part one, boys. <laughs> Didn't it work? You didn't move the mouse after you tried to guess not. Click pause. Nope. There we go. Okay. All righty. So Part one of the premiere. There's our premiere, yeah. It was nice. The only two Jedi we've seen fight Vader is Obi Wan and Luke, right? Mm. Uh, in the movies, correct. In the movies. Yeah. He's had some stuff in. Uh, Video games and comics and novels and stuff, but yeah, in terms of uh, like what we used to call G level canon, which is what George wanted, you know? Um, yeah, that's what we had seen. I don't think it's fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go very well for Kanan and Ezra. <sighs> yeah, this, um... In a fight. Well, anyway. they're obviously not gonna like beat him and kill him, though, right? Like, that's, that's well, the no. So, like, if he's, yeah. a, he's a big, formidable thing, you're like, well, I know where he is. To be fair, and I don't know where these people are. They could know? easily like... cut off his legs and his Arms. hands and his everything. He just becomes more machine <laughs> than man. He's more machine Even more. now than man. Twisted and evil. Oh, man, it's just, it's just, I don't know. I l like, James Old Jones just brings, like, a certain level of it's not even gravitas it's like credibility like it feels like a true blue star wars scene when i hear his voice and i have that music in the background you know it just feels like episode four to me all right i love it not so much yes i wonder how much animation he's done in general yeah like or... like voice overs you know like i mean he did lion king mufasa yeah, he's, true. I would Ooh, say he's done Mufasa. Quite a bit of like voiceover and voice only work before. He's done narrations. Yeah. I'm just wondering of like, you know, there's probably not very many television animation studios that have the budget to bring in. in true. The James Earl Jones. I don't know. Maybe. Have you seen City Limits? No. And ST3K covered it. And James Earl Jones was in it. He did a bunch of like 1 800 collect commercials. It's true. That. I don't know. I mean, James Earl Jones has always been big to me because of Star Wars. I don't know how big he was to like other people or anything. <sighs> Coming to um, the Barbarian. I said I never saw that. I saw Coming to America. Yeah. yeah he, he's in that. Uh, Field of Dreams. And his wife in that is the same lady who voices Sarabi from Lion King. Sarabi! So, like, the king and the queen of Lion King are the yeah. king and the queen of. Uh, Interesting. Damn, whatever the country's called that that Eddie Murphy's from. Sandlot. Sandlot. Yeah, he's in yeah. Sandlot. Oh, I'm mean, like that's not the name of the country. Right? No, no, no. <laughs> he is in the Sandlot. He is in the Sandlot. He owns the dog, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> he see. owns the ball. <clears throat> well, then. Well. Possession is nine tenths of the law, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, 
But yeah, in the beginning though, we get uh, we get to see that the our rebel group is working with other rebels. The Phoenix have... Squad. Yeah. Phoenix Squad. Squad run. Squad run. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Commander Sato. Yeah, we got Sato in here now. Uh, yeah, like a larger rebel force that we can work with. Though Sato Tano, I sense a pattern. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Phoenix. Phoenix is a good name too. Ending with O's. It's like they're rising again. Yeah. Yeah. I think of Sato though. I think of uh, Chosen's uncle in Karate Kid Two. His name was Sato. Sure. That's what you think of? Yep. Miyagi. I recognize. Uh, Yogi. What? Miyagi. Remember oh, when he, is that what you said? When he shows up, he's like Miyagi. He does like he's really fast. He's like pierogi. <laughs> pierogi. Yeah. I'm like what? Eric, it's happened. He's finally broke. <laughs> pierogi. <laughs> Just I, I recognize uh, the voice of Commander Sato. Did yeah, you, I was did looking you? it up to see if I if I knew him. From I anything. think he's done voices in Avatar: The Last Airbender. Mm -hmm. So his name is Kiwoon Young. Kion. Kion Young. Kione. He's been in Deadwood uh, as live action. Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah, he uh, did work in that. Okay. Though, who did he do? I hate when they don't show you the actual role. I can hear him say destruction, like that. Hmm. Mr. Wu. Hmm? Was he... In Men in Black, he was a Mr. Wu. Was he... He was did random voices in Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, he did, he did, he did Ghost of he Tsushima. He did a Sensei was he Jung Jung? Justice. Commander Sato. Not ready. Hey, Chin Storm Snap. Storm Stout. Not Snout. Chin. Why won't it tell me? He did a Northern Soldier in Korra. A little bit further. I Captain find Lee Avatar. across six episodes of Avatar Last Captain Airbender. Captain Lee. Captain Lee. Was he know. from the Earth Kingdom? Maybe, yeah. Uh, South he did Earth Kingdom. The High Sage. No, I think Captain Lee, I don't, was Captain Lee across six episodes? Because uh, it has him here as High Sage, Jong Jong, yeah. and Captain Lee. Jong Jong. Jong Jong. It's the traitor, the firebender. Mm -hmm. So it has him as like an additional voice. So he might be in six episodes. Oh, the firebending um, master. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so he's here as uh, Commander Sato. That's cool. Yeah. Deadwood. All Mr. right. Wait, um, wait, 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 wait. What? So, uh, you know, uh, we're talking here about them joining a larger force. How'd you guys feel about Kanan in this episode? With I, how it's going? I feel for him a yeah. lot. Yeah. Um, probably a lot of the murmurings and talk and stuff that he heard from his master mm -hmm. and his master to other masters was that, you know, the war is not the Jedi's purpose. Yeah. You know? Being a general is countering their yeah their like mission yeah he's kind of like falling back into that he can see like i i don't like the structure i like being able to make moral decisions mm -hmm. to well, help people rather than a commander's decision to kill people yeah you know? yeah and i also think he likes having the final decision whereas there's people over him here yeah yeah sure and letting the the force guide him to what you know he feels that he should do rather than having someone tell him, mm -hmm. aim him like a weapon like the Senate did the Jedi. Yeah, uh, he definitely now feels like a Robin Hood-like character, you know, uh, trying to have justice be done that way, but specifically when he says, like, I've seen what war does to people, what it does to everybody, not just the Jedi, like yeah. everyone, you know. Um, I think, it, yeah, it, it speaks to a lot of his trauma and, you know, how effective he can be because I mean it's a pretty big deal we got three potential Jedi on the ship you know in this in this rebel cell sure. uh, which is pretty damn awesome yeah but they I also mean, one Jedi yeah. two force users true true <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, it could also be like he acknowledges how how fickle people's beliefs are you know mm -hmm. uh a Jedi being in the the resistance could be seen as a bad thing for most people who yep. still believe them to be the traitors 
you know, that tried to kill Palpatine and, yeah. and take take the Republic for themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, having their their tarnished name attached to him in what we saw in this episode as well. Like they they changed the narrative to suit their their you know agenda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it made him the bad guy again. Mm-hmm. Do you think Minister Tua is dead? I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I could see it either way. I mean, uh, this is all Vader's plan. Yeah. He even predicted that they would show up here for he thing, you know. Yeah. But and like the ship blew up. Yeah. I don't know why he would keep her alive. Mm-hmm. So well, I don't know yeah. what use she is to him. Unless it was arranged, bef- like immediately after the conversation between Vader and Tua, like you whether they found out about it and said, "Okay, like we'll keep you alive, but you have to do what we tell you to." So, like, you think that, oh, like, all right, we're doing like a magic trick. You walk up the ramp and then you get down through this little door. There'll be a mirror. They won't see you, and then we'll explode the thing. Well, we never saw her get on the ship, right? They just said, like, "Hurry up and get on the shuttle." Yeah. And then the next shot that we saw the shuttle was... I'm pretty sure we sh- saw her run out the ramp. I, we saw her run, we like, like partway up the ramp, but then it, like I feel right, like it cut away. Just before that, right? Like, we didn't see her run, like, yeah, into the, that. the cockpit, right? Hmm. And further back. Is... Uh, maybe right after this. So there she goes. Oh, yeah. That's, yep. that's pretty oh, running yeah. up the ramp. It definitely is. Like two or three shots of it. <laughs> so when you're like, I don't see why Vader would keep her alive. You might be right. Yeah. Kids show. <clears throat> well, I mean, if also, too, the idea is that you want her to really contact out of fear. Yeah. And you want them, like they said, they sense the fear. Yeah, you, they need to believe her. You use someone yeah. expendable, put the fear in them, have them go to desperate means, and then use it as bait. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that just goes back to what the Inquisitor said, you know, something far more perilous than death. Driving someone to completely change their views about yeah, like, their oh, loyalty. Man, and they're going to send me to Tarkin Tarkin, or whatever. Yeah. They're going to kill me. My life's in peril. I need to contact the people I've been hunting and trying to kill and have them save me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think there was any out for her, really, other than mm-hmm. death. Yeah, um, you know, they, at the beginning here, whenever, you know, she's saying, like, she will defect, they are very, like, hesitant, very, very hesitant, and you have to be, but this is still the beginning of the rebellion, like, we know Biggs was an Imperial, uh, cadet, cadet. we know that, like, Crix Maydeen was an Imperial officer, and in episode six, he, you know, defects, well, like, Han, so many of the, we know yeah. Han was involved in the M- Imperial, yeah, he was uh, a mud trooper on Mimbin, yeah, you know, so he was, Part of it. There's yeah. lots of people that have been part of it, and then they've defected or mm-hmm. just l- just left and didn't necessarily join yeah. another side. But you know, Han didn't join the rebels. He just, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm leaving. Yeah. I'm going yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. So, um, I don't know about the five by one, but the five by five that you hear usually means like perfect clarity, rating a one worst five to perfect as far as like radio working. Mm. So when okay. they say like. Something, whatever, 5x5 five five is supposed to be confirming that they're hearing and things are working or something. Hmm. But I can't find information on what 5x1, which I think is what Sabine said. Yeah, 5x1. Yeah, five she by said 5x1. One. One. So maybe that's <coughs> like a signal for like RTB. Maybe. Hmm. I was thinking of that show called Party of Five. I was like, was Freddie Prince Jr. on that? It wasn't. It was James Vanderbeek. How'd you mix that up? I don't know. I feel like I thought of both of those two, like, similarly. Was that him on Hackers? Might have been him on hacks, Hackers. Vanderbeek? G- yeah. Oh, Vanderbeek. I your point at me. I was like, what have I done? I don't... I've never hacked anything. No. Ever. You made a reference last week talking about... Hackers? About Hackers. It's like, he was also on Hackers. Yeah, I have no idea who this person is. James Vanderbeek? Vanderbeek? He was talking about Matthew Lillard, which was Angelina yeah. Jolie, and then there was another guy, and we couldn't remember who he was. James Vanderbeek. It might have been Vanderbeek. Party of Five. He was with Jason Biggs as the actors that were playing Blunt Man and Chronic in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Nope. All right, never mind. It was Johnny Lee Miller. Okay. Oh, I think you said that name last week. 
no. and we immediately cool. forgot about. All of our viewers are very confused about what is happening right now. Because he's a forgettable. Who name. plays Wesker? Is that James Vanderbeek? Wesker <laughs> from Resident Evil. Yeah. I don't know if I ever made it to Wesker. Isn't it the guy who plays the bad guy from uh, Matrix Two? Do don't know. Uh, so at one point here in this episode, they talk about Minister Tua before she's tragically killed in this shuttle explosion. Talks about the Confirm. real reason the Empire is uh, interested in Luthal. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What do you guys think? Uh, direct orders from the Emperor. Mm -hmm. We know there's at least one Kyber crystal here. Yeah. So there yeah. could be uh, more. There's like a Jedi outpost. We're going to need a lot of those very soon. Yeah. yeah. Which they are going to be mining from Jeddah, right? Uh... They do, yeah. Rogue One. Actually, they they might already. <coughs> it could be happening now. They're probably already mining it, but it depends on how far along they are mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Yeah, because the uh, the oh shoot, what are they called? Well, I mean, how old is Ezra? Ezra is uh, about fifteen. No, uh, 14, yeah, four, fourteen. So I mean, we're we're looking four or five years before the events of yeah. A New Hope. Uh, the fifteenth yeah. anniversary. In Rogue One. So 15, I would 15. say. Yeah. So, if it's about four years before, like, Rogue One and New Hope, yep. you know, we got... They're probably working on Death Star stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, this should well be within the time of... Uh, Rogue One. Of, I mean, uh, episode three, they're going to work on the Death Star. Not Gideon. Galen? Galen or Galen so. Galen or so. Yeah. Galen. I yeah. wouldn't say Gideon. I'm like, that's not right. Sure. Uh, of him working on it and them working on building and stuff, but... Are they going to be harvesting crystals from more places? Than yeah, I mean, it's got to be something that's... What all do they need for what? And... Yeah, it's got to be something that cannot be easily moved off the planet. Mm -hmm. So if it was like a person or a people's, I feel like it It doesn't make sense if it would be that. <laughs> yeah. Like so, it's something here that you need to like drill for to get yeah, or something. Yeah, it's got to be a resource. And then you can pull it out. We do know that Lothal was helping develop the uh, advanced <coughs> TIE fighter. Uh, the, in their shipyards. Because right? of the factories. Yeah, yeah. In, in season one. But it's more than just the factories. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine there's some sort of natural resource here. Yeah. So, like, um, maybe the, they uh, do the factories and build that while also doing something else on the side. Like, that's. Like, we know about that, but the real reason, what's that? Lothcats. Harvesting of Lothcats. Mm -hmm. That's how they power their walkers. They're training them as war dogs. They, they took down an uh, Imperial probe droid. <laughs> They didn't do a good job, though. You're right. It went down, Rick, okay? It was their <laughs> fault for not checking on it. It succeeded on its mission. <laughs> it did. It did. Oh, man. Um, they said um, we have to leave Lothal for good. I wonder if they mean that. Like, is this going to be really, really the last time? But then again, they also said, like, there's a secret thing going on here. Mm -hmm. So that would seem to indicate that well, there's something that they need to stop. You're gonna I think they were planning on joining the, the Imperial Cell and doing, like, greater things further away but now I think this is going to call them back I was like oh shit there's an even greater thing we didn't know about yet going well, on over here they haven't left yet yeah and, and they might not I be mean, able it, to yeah I mean granted this is halfway through the premiere of episode one of season two but who's to say they get out of this because Vader it's right there I mean isn't there like <laughs> five seasons I mean well, yeah, but it's called Rebels, not like these specific Rebels. Exactly, yeah. You can just wipe not these the, not out. The Riders of the Ghost. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but it was called Gilligan's Island. He could have died in the ship. Uh, that's a great backstory. If your ship is named Ghost, like you just inherit it from the last people who had it but all died. Yeah. It gives you like an anthology kind of story, right? Where yeah. it's about... Phantom One, Phantom Like you could have the ghost and it's about the ship and the people on it. Yeah. yeah. But it's not about the people on it. It's yeah. about the ship and the people on it. So you could have like Mal and Wash and stuff like that. Like you got stories with them and then like they all die and leave but the ghost is still around. Someone else takes it mm -hmm. flies off, does That's something great. else. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, like the feelings that Ezra and Kanan keep having? They specifically keep using the word cold when they feel Vader, which I think is a really interesting thing. Whenever he like burnt to death, and he should, yeah, and he has a hot anger. Yeah. I, <laughs> I think it's a very good like feeling they could relate to when I mean most of the other people that we usually see like connecting or sensing Vader, yeah, are usually family. Mm. You know what I mean? Or familiar with the feeling at least. Like they're, yeah, I mean it's, 
a sense I haven't felt, and you know that yeah. you know Obi Wan's talking about, or when Vader's talking about Obi Wan and stuff. But I imagine yeah. Obi Wan's kind of feeling the same stuff, and then you have like, uh, like Luke was in Vader's presence before ever really knowing how to access the Force. Yeah. Like they have some training, but they don't know who this is. Yeah, they don't know what like, that is. In uh, here, you have Kanan and Ezra both like sensing the Minister's fear. Yeah. That they can feel through space. You space. Know? Yeah. They're looking at a hologram, sensing that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but then as they get closer to the planet, they feel this coldness. Like yeah. That's how. That's the, maybe that's the only thing they can think of to describe yeah. this feeling they have from yeah. this. I imagine it's like dark entity, feeling you know? the hand of death. The hand hand of like the God. hand of God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh, we also had a little scene in here also, too. Also, his okay. hands are metal and would be cold. Probably. Hand of God. Yeah, uh, they would be. Uh, we had a little scene in here, too, with the uh, Jedi mind trick that I liked. You know, never waste of time to, like, hey, why don't you try it, you know, to teach. It didn't work out, but still. No. Wish it worked on you. <laughs> I, I like that line of, I wish it worked for me. I wish it worked on you. Yeah. Um, I also just kind of like Kanan because you can see his, like, we talk about how he doesn't really care for the military and these soldiers mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. And, like, when he's making fun of, like, Hera... And like, yeah, I have to make some friends and whatnot. He does like a kind of a half like salute thing. And then when he's doing those guys and mind, mind controlling, whatever, he's like, all right, see you later. Yeah. Like his salutes, I always feel like are very kind of just mavericky enough to yeah. get by kind of stuff or not even that. Yeah. Um, just as like I'm making fun of like the military that he doesn't want to be a part of kind of stuff. Sure. Right now. Like if he doesn't take it seriously, then he doesn't have to give it the respect. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, buddy. You, know? if you make jokes about it and whatever else at Hera's expense or their expense or whatever, then the, the sillier it is, then the less serious he has to take it. Even if Hera is taking it very seriously. Because, I mean, she's been working with Fulcrum for, like, I don't know, how long? We've seen her talking to him in various episodes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or her. Yep. Yeah. Folk for her. Folk. Folk. Yeah. Not Fulcrum. Yep. All right, well, I'm excited for the next one. Let's put some clothes on, boys, because it's getting cold in here. Ha! Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe so that you can follow along with more Rebels coming down the way. And if you don't want to wait, make sure you check out patreon.com slash blindwave. You can see up to the next four episodes over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Down in the description below right now. Go there.